Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So recently I did a YouTube poll over on my community tab and I wanted to see what all of you wanted me to react to. And the top two movies that were joint, basically joint, were Brokeback Mountain and Hunger Games Catching Fire. So here I am. I am now going to sit down and watch Brokeback Mountain and then another day I'll watch Hunger Games Catching Fire. Now, since it is the end of Pride Month, I thought, you know what, let's go out with a bang. I'm going to watch a film <laughs> that I told myself I would never watch again. I watched it maybe 10 years ago when I was 16, 15, 16. I can't remember much of it because I've blocked it out of my memory. What would be a better use of my time than crying on camera for you guys? Because I just know deep in my soul that this film's going to upset me. <laughs> God damn right. If this comes out later on YouTube, just pretend it's the end of June. It's the end of Pride Month, okay? If you'd like to watch the full unedited reaction of me watching Brokeback Mountain with you, you can join the Patreon, link down below, and let's just dive in to Brokeback Mountain. Yeehaw! I'm fucking nervous. Okay, so we have the film pulled up, and yeah, let's go for it. <laughs> This music reminds me a bit of, um, I know it's like only been like five guitar pings, but it's like, it's very, um, The Last of Us, you know? I was also going to buy a cowboy hat to watch this movie and wear it, but the nearest store that would sell me a cowboy hat, it was £20! I was not paying £20 just for, just for me to cry in a cowboy hat while watching Brokeback Mountain. Here they are. Our two boys. Jake Gyllenhaal is so sexy. <laughs> He's been on my screen for 0.5 seconds and I'm already... <laughs> my left nipple's erect. <laughs> Electric chair. There do be something about a cowboy, right? There do be something. There do be something about a cowboy. Like the denim, the hat, the yeehaw, you know. Ow. I'm getting horny. Nobody's spoken yet. <laughs> I'm like trying to fill the silence. Jack Twist. Yes. Well, nice to know you, Anna Delmar. Best of pals. <laughs> We're gonna be best buddies. Just two really good friends. <laughs> that'd be a, do you know what? That'd be a fun summer, I think. Just like herding sheep around a field for a full summer. Handsome man next to carrying a little lamb. Now that's the gay agenda. Hey! Look at that, look at the scenery. It's like gay Red Dead Redemption. Period. Oh, he's just carrying that bitch. She didn't want to get her feet wet. Fair enough. Me too, gal. Had to stay with the sheep, no fire bullshit. No fire? How are you gonna keep warm? Snuggle. No, no. Ah! Oh, oh my God. Oh my god. Oh sh**. Everything. Oh no. Bitch, that's the wrong kind of bear we're wanting. Oh! I want a different kind of bear. Are we shooting a sheep? Oh, bitch! We've got nothing to worry about. Bitch, that's food for days. They're gonna be fed. Man just being man. Oh! You just have to wash yourself in just a little bucket. You're not going down to the stream? Well, the bear's down at the stream. We can't go down there. You know, my sis left from Mary Roughneck, moved to Casper. We went and got ourselves from work on a ranch up near Warland. Man, that's more words than you spoke in the past two weeks. Hell, that's the most I've spoken in a year. Oh, he's opening up. Oh, he's opening up to his little twink. They're bonding. Just two really good friends. Having fun up the mountain. Just friends. Liar! Speak for yourself. You may be a sinner, but I ain't yet had the opportunity. Well, I have a feeling you might be in luck, Mr. Man. I thought you were going to be a sinner by the time this film ends. Oh, that's good. Better off see you in the tent. 
they're looking after each other as very good friends do. Come inside the tent. Snuggle under the covers with us. It's not gay, we're just a couple of dudes. Just two two good pals. Just quit your hammering and get in here. We're only mates. We're gonna keep a two-meter distance, it's fine. We're just friends. We're just friends. No loop. No loop. How open is Mr. Gyllenhaal? <laughs> like, straight in? Oh my god, it's like throwing a penny down an alleyway. Oh. Well, we be, we be, we be fucking. That happened so quick. Just guys being dudes. <laughs> What's better than this? Guys being dudes. I'm sorry, but like, no preparation, just straight in, straight in, no lube, just spit. That's brave. It's not realistic. Ooh. Trouble in paradise. Oh no, we lost a sheep because we were sitting f***ing. See, this is the problem with gays, okay? We'd rather f than... Jake! Stop it, Jake. Stop flirting with me, Jake. We'd rather f than do work. Do you know what? It's fine. You're allowed to be gay up the mountain. Drop the mountain. Anything can happen up the mountain. Just us gal pals. <laughs> Bestie Westies. F me. It really do be like that though. You just want like comfort. Oh. I want Jake Gyllenhaal to hold me like that. Well, let me tell you, you'll never get it. Oh, bitch, they're getting spied on. Oh, fuck off. He's just jealous. He's like, you couple of sissy boys. <laughs> Says bring him down. So is that son of a bitch, she's cutting us out a whole month's pay. Oh, he's in a half. <laughs> he's in a half. He's like, I'm losing a month's pay and I'm losing my little summer boyfriend. I'm, I'm, I'm raging. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are we actually fighting? Oh, we're fighting. <sighs> We have a lot of um, pent up emotions uh, that we need to, you know, maybe sit down and talk about. You ranch this. You ain't never no good. Well, why don't you do it yourself then, you fucking arsehole? You try it instead of sitting in your office all day. Well, the summer fling's over, everyone. It was nice while it lasted. No more gay. No more gay. No gay. We're done. No! No, no! No! Well, I guess I'll see you around, huh? I guess. Oh, not even a hug! A handshake! A kiss on the lips! Not even a wave! But a longing look in the rear view mirror. Oh! <laughs> the gaze. Please! These gays! They're trying to murder me! For thine is the kingdom. Oh, you do be getting married? <gasps> it's her. I can't remember her name. Woohoo. I hate that they're cute. That should be Jake Gyllenhaal. Boo! She's pregante? She's pregananant? Pregananant? She better fucking not be. Nothing up on broke back. Ain't got no work for you. Because he's gay! What a homophobe. Oh my god, you got two? Oh, you've got like, you got five? You've, it's like you've got 25 kids. Oh no, you just got two. You just got two. Oh, zero is enough. 
Get me back on that fucking mountain. <laughs> I feel like, get me back to last summer on that mountain now. Boo! <laughs> we don't like heteronormativity. Down with the hetties. Get away from me, you're straight. It's Friday, man. Oh, not your hat. Queen! Is it Anne? It's Queen Anne Hathaway! Okay, maybe she's the only Hetty that I enjoy. <laughs> I'm like done with the Hetty's, but she can stay. She can stay. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her luscious hair. Her luscious la- oh! <gasps> Queen. I love you. No, this is not what I want. Why am I getting excited? I just love Anne Hathaway so much that I'm allowing her to ruin my gay relationship. Anne Hathaway, no, you're not allowed. What are you waiting for, cowboy? A mate and call. A mate and call. You, do you know what? She can ruin it for five minutes. I'll give her five minutes. She's so beautiful. Oh, she's so beautiful. I can't. I can't. I love Anne Hathaway. We fucking in the back of the Cadillac. The back of the pickup truck. Fast or slow, I just like the direction you're going. If a man said that to me, oh my God, I'd be on my hands and knees. You're a pig. Okay, you're enough. A slut. No one is touching. Let's get home with the car by midnight. Oh! I had those titties. Her titties were out. Good for her. We are moving so fast. She now has a baby with Jake. Please. I can't believe they have kids. <laughs> Why do they have kids? 24th, drop me a line if you're there. A picture of brought back mountain. We was fishing buddies. We were fishing buddies, were we? You bet. Oh my gosh. Here was me complaining that we've moved too fast into family life, but now we're we're getting back we're getting back on track with the gates. Jack fucking twist. <laughs> oh. Oh, we just doing it. <gasps> oh no. Ooh. Oh no. Oh f <laughs> Oh shit. Why would they do it out in the open? Why didn't they just wait? Oh, the gays, gays are stupid. You're not I'm smart. Not stupid. You're not smart. Horny fuckers. We might not get back tonight when we get to drinking and talking and all. Oh! Oh, I love the gays. <laughs> I love the gays. I love the gays. Good. Well, that did get you good. I'm making a living is about all I got time for now. Heteronormative life caught us both. Oh, I do feel bad for her. Oh, I do feel bad for her. See you Sunday, ladies. Oh, bless her. Fucking gays ruining everything. Gays ruin the heteronormative lifestyle, don't they? The gays are good for nothing. <gasps> Can we pause at the right? <laughs> Not me being like, Can we pause at the right time and see cock? We can. We can pause at the right time and see cock. What if you and me had a little branch somewhere? A little. Ain't gonna be that way. Yeah. He's got his girls. He can't just have to leave them. There were these two old guys ranched up together down home. They found Earl dead, took a tire iron to him, spurred him up, and drug him around by his dick till it pulled off. Fucking hell. hell. I'm like very glad that times are changing, but like. It's crazy that they still need to change, you know? That people's outlooks are still horrific. You seen my blue parker? Um, last time I seen it, he was in it. There, we had that big eye storm. <gasps> oh my god, Anne! Look at this hair. See, now it don't seem fair. You're going up there two, three times a year. Okay. Two, three times a year? We, we fucking on the regular. Oh, bitch. We f buddies. Oh, it is tough, isn't it? It is tough. Because I do want my gays to be happy, but I don't want, you know, I feel bad for the women involved. I got you can't do it! I can't. As far behind as we are in the bills, makes me nervous not to take no precaution. If you don't want my one of my kids, I'll be happy to leave you alone. I'd have them if you'd support them. 
Oh! <laughs> Period. That is one. That is one way to kill a boner. She's right though. She is right. She is right. I'll have them if you support them. That's funny. I'll give it to her. Queen. To Queen. Defendant is ordered to pay child support to plaintiff in the sum of one hundred and twenty-five dollars per month for each of the minor. So we're divorce him. Oh, that rodeo. Stud duck do the carving around here. Oh, yeah, just... toxic masculinity has to be in charge. You finish your meal and then you can watch it get. <sighs> what an arsehole. I can't. It's toxic masculinity. Daddy. I want your boy to grow up to be a man, don't you, daughter? Not until he finishes eating the meal that his mama took three hours fit. Oh, oh my. You sit down, you old son of a bitch. Period. You sit down before I knock your ignorant ass in the next week. <laughs> it's like, period, yep. Yeah. And it's like, finally, my man stood up to my arsehole dad. <laughs> Come on, Jack. Jack Twist, that's my man. Jack Nasty. You didn't go up there to fish. You and him. Listen to me. You don't know nothing about it. Well, I'll make you make the fucking floor. Get out! Get out! Get out! Daddy. Eek! 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 Oh my god. That was very intense. We could have handled that better. <laughs> we could have handled that a, a lot better. I love the mustache on Jake Gyllenhaal. <laughs> Jack's little moustache is very cute. I thought that was um, Velma from Scooby-Doo. Who's your mommy? Feed her. It f***ing is, isn't it? Hold on. We must check. No, I don't think it is. I think it is. It's Linda Cardellini. Velma from Scooby-Doo. She looks gorgeous with blonde hair. Anne Hathaway in this film looks so f***ing good. <gasps> David Harbour? We've been here for a month and he got the foreman job over Broadway. Bitch! <laughs> They're not gonna f***. They're not gonna f***. That, that'll get me too excited. You're just horny. You're horny. He's got a little uh, Are we... cabin down on Lake Camp. Got a crappie house, a little boat. Said I could use it whenever I want. Oh, bitch, are we gonna... We ought to go down there some weekend. Drink a little whiskey. Oh, fish, bitch. Huh? Oh, bitch. <gasps> Ooh. There's gays everywhere in the middle of the country. In the Midwest. Oh, my God. How many years are passing in this film? We're not getting, like, an indicator or, like, anything coming... <gasps> it's her from American Horror Story? Christ. We're not getting, like, any, like, two years later or anything. We're just judging it by... He Ledger's children growing up. You know, friend, this is a goddamn bitch of an unsatisfactory situation. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, we'll try this one. Tell you what, we could have had a good life together. Fucking real good life. But you didn't want it, Ennis. So what we got now is broke back now. And I'm not you. I can't make it on a couple of high altitude fucks once or twice a year. <laughs> Why am I getting teary eyed? I wish I knew how to quit you. Then why don't you? Why don't you just let me be, huh? Because of you, Jack, that I'm like this. Get the fuck off me! Damn you, Candace. Why can't the gays just be happy? Just thinking of like the life they could have had together and like how it's just other people that stop them. Ceased. Jack was pumping up a flat when the tire blew up. The tire slammed into his face. By the time somebody come along, he drowned in his own blood. Hello? Hello? Oh my god. He used to say he wanted his ashes scattered on Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> I wasn't sure where that was. I'm so sad. <laughs> Oh my god. 
come back and see us again. It's just like so depressing. <laughs> like, why can't we have nice things? You know, why can't we just be happy? Why can't people just leave us alone? Happy Pride Month, everyone. <laughs> Happy Pride Month. Um, that's Brobat Mountain for you. <laughs> God. So it's been it's been like it's been a long time since I've watched that film, and um, I there was a lot I didn't remember from it because I kind of blocked a lot out of my mind um, because as like a sixteen year old, that was the saddest thing I think I'd ever seen in my entire life, and um. It's still very, very sad. It's just, it's just such a, it's just such a telling story of like, what it's like to be gay in, you know, is it the Midwest? Like, you know, the country in, in America, but then also in the 60s and like, just how far we've come. And it's kind of like denying yourself a really good, well-lived life because of others so it's like you're being detrimental to yourself because you're scared of what others will do and what others how others will act and um yeah it's just it's like it's really nice how far we've come but we've still got a lot a long long way to go and um yeah i think it's a shame i think it's harder it's hard to watch as well because like heath ledger is gone so it's quite difficult to watch as well and I think they just both play it so well and yeah <laughs> I'm like so sad <laughs> it's such a sad film it's such a sad film um but like just great from everyone involved like Anne Hathaway and oh what I can't remember the girl's name that plays uh Heath Ledger's wife she's just phenomenal in it they're both like yeah, they're both just so good. I didn't realize so many people were in it though. Velma, Hopper from Stranger Things, like Anne Hathaway, everyone was in this film. This was quite a big, big cast. So yeah, I just think, um, I just think it's such a nice film, but such a sad film, such a sad film. Like the gays can't have anything. We all have to just be hurt. And it's, it's a shame that it's like, it wasn't actually a tire that burst. You know, it was literally homophobes. It was homophobes attacking us. It wasn't a tire that burst on the side of the road. But yeah, that's my reaction to Brokeback Mountain. Um, <laughs> happy Pride Month, everyone. Um, if you want to watch the full unedited reaction to this film, it's now up on my Patreon. You can go watch it with the link down below. Special thanks to all my patrons who are currently supporting me. Uh, I hope you had a great Pride Month. Uh, I hope you're out and proud and having a great time. And I will see you in the next one. Hopefully the next one's not a cry. I don't want to cry. I, I'm done crying. I, I, I'm done crying for you all. No more tears. No more tears. But I'll see you in the next one. Peace.